Lord. Looking forward to our assembly together. And we greet those also who are, are with us around the world via live stream. I want to start our meeting tonight with some thoughts about dwelling places. The scriptures tell us of many, many different um, aspects of spiritual dwelling places in Christ, in the kingdom, uh, in God, in the spirit. One of these dwelling places is uh, found in 1 Peter 5, 12. The apostle says, this is the true grace of God wherein ye stand. So grace is, is like a dwelling place. It's an environment. It's not something that's just uh, possessed with the hands. It's a, it's a place where we have come. It's a dwelling place. The true grace of God wherein ye stand. Another word like this is 1 Corinthians 16, verse 13. Watch ye, stand fast in the faith. So the faith is not just uh, uh, compiled words and, and doctrine that we, that we keep like a document. Faith, stand in the faith. It's like a, like a room that we've come to or like a country that we've, come, that we've been placed in. Stand in, in the faith. Another word is 1 John 1, 7. He says, if we walk in the light as he is in the light, then we have fellowship one with another, and the blood of Jesus Christ cleanses us from all sin. So walk, walking in the light, it's like a, like a very, uh, very commodious uh, environment that we've come to. There's lots of, uh, lo lots of room of growing and advance, lots of resources uh, to be obtained in the light. It's a dwelling place. Another is Galatians 5.16. This I say then, walk in the Spirit, and ye shall not fulfill the lusts of the flesh. So in the spirit is a place where there is no sin committed. That's a place. If you walk there, you will not fulfill the lusts of the flesh. It's not enough to say that you shouldn't sin when you're in the spirit. You can't. You've got to leave this place before the lusts of the flesh can be fulfilled. That's a place, an environment, a dwelling place in the spirit. And another one, lastly, in Ephesians 2 verse 6 that he has seated us with Christ in heavenly places. Yeah. And that's, a, that's plural, heavenly places. So this is, this is one explanation for any time that you have grown in the Lord, it can be explained here in Ephesians 2, 6. You've been seated with Christ in heavenly places. Amen. Now these places cannot be located on a map. No one ends up in any of these places by accident. Yeah. And none of these places will, can ever or will ever be sieged by the enemy. Amen. There are places in the world, physical places, that are, uh, that are soothing and calming. You know, quiet, quiet places, beautiful places. Mm -hmm. um, there are likewise other places that are dangerous and, and fearful places. Mm -hmm. Because there are, things, there are things resident there, there are dangers there that aren't other places. There are places on earth, cities, uh, that are known for particular snares and sins that are, they like abound in these, in these certain places in the world. Other places are known for particular customs and cultures. People visit there to, to see things that only are seen and experienced in that, in that place. So they, people travel to go to that, that place. There are, there, are so, there are some sites that you really can't appreciate unless you go to that place right. and see it for yourself. You can, you can see it in a book, in a picture, on the, web, on the Internet. You can hear about it from somebody that has been there. But you just really don't. I've never been to the Grand Canyon. But I've heard you just really don't get a sense of how big it is unless you've been there. Yeah. If you've been to that place. These are all unique, unique things about, about places, about environments. Well, here's some unique things about these dwelling places that we've come to in the kingdom. Light, walking in the light, the light is known for giving understanding and knowledge. That's, that's, what, that, that's what is received, that's what is obtained when someone dwells in the light, is that they, they start to understand now the, the, the ways of God and the, and the things of God. And, they, and they, can, they can walk because... They're in the light. They can, they can see things now. They, they can identify an enemy be, 
because they're they're in the light. They can identify the truth because they're in the light. They can they can think clearly and, and reason and respond and they give an answer for the hope that's set before them or the, the hope that was that is within them because they're in the light. Uh, grace is known for empowering and enabling the saints. Things people do things when they're standing in grace that can't be done unless they're standing in grace. Faith is a place where people are persuaded and con- and um, and convinced, and where they where they are able to wait for the things that they that God has promised, the things that they hope for. When they're standing in the faith, then they're they're enabled. See, these places are known for. The, it's like they're famous places for, the, for these things. Yeah. The spirit, in the spirit, is a place where brethren run and resist and obtain yeah. and bear fruit in the spirit. Mm-hmm. So, in fact, these places are so, are so known, if I, could, if I could say it that way, they're so known for these things, for understanding and, and empowering and standing and obtaining fruit, that these, this, these are the only things that happen in these places. Yeah. In other words, nobody's walking in the in the light and confused. That's right. yeah. Yeah. There's that it just doesn't happen in the where someone's confused. They've they've turned out of the way, yeah. and that's yeah. why they're confused. Amen. These dwelling places have the most dramatic impact on their inhabitants. You know, people stand in front of uh, the one of the seven wonders of the world, and they stand in awe as as they look. But the effect of that of that amazement wears off as they yeah. because they leave well this as you dwell on the light you don't get dull to the light it does it doesn't wear off yeah. grace doesn't lose its efficacy if you as as you as you stand in the grace of god yeah. for year after year after year it doesn't you don't become grow dull to it it doesn't grow uh common Your, your mind actually thinks different because of these dwelling places. Yeah. Your heart loves different when you're in these places. You actually speak different. Like the prophet said, I'll give unto them a pure language. Yeah. You, you actually speak differently. It's, it's not that you, you speak Spanish now and you never did before. It's that you're, you're wor- you, you choose your words differently. You speak f- with, with a different motive. Yeah. You speak to a different end. Maybe even you're using the same words as before, but, but see, there's understanding now that comes, and there's, there's, a, there's experience that comes. There's grace ministered through the word, and it's because of where you're dwelling. See, this can, uh, just a side note here, this can transform study. You know, we've said this here before, but study can, it can really have a, 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 a dry experience to it, you know, just like study, you know, how people yeah. view this kind of thing, just word studies and, and this yeah. kind of thing. But as you, you, as you labor, you make your, your, your study, make it a focused labor to get in these places. Yeah. Amen. Now it's study. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> now you're, now you're, you're, you'll be productive because of where, see, your, your labor becomes getting into these high places, not just having a lot of words in your notes. Everyone in these places quench all the fiery darts of the wicked one. They all do. All of the all people in these places have crucified the flesh with the lusts thereof because of where they are. No one in these places stumble or err in the darkness. And they all all pe- all the brethren in these places know the Lord from the from the least to the greatest. Uh, when when brethren know the truth and are made free by it, it's because they're they're in these places, yeah. they're dwelling in these places. Only here, as the hymn writer said, are men content to let the world go by to know no gain or loss. Yeah. Yeah. You can let it go yeah. when you're in grace and in faith yeah. and in these heavenly places. Grace teaches in these places too. Yeah. There are no distant learning programs mm-hmm. that grace offers. You have to come to these places. And you, you learn by grace, and there there are also no honorary degrees given by grace. The brethren are guided by the eye of the Lord when they are in these high places. And as the prophet said of these places, he called uh, uh, a highway is that there are there's no lion. 
There's no lion that treads on these places. So as we open up to tonight, this is the place where we, a time where our, we, we focus our energy and our, and our, our labors and our strength to, to get in closer to the center of these places. Yeah. Now, after uh, I've said all of these exclusive things about these places and the experience of them, we do all also have to say that you have to fight to stay in these places. Yeah. It's not that we become uh, unaffected by the flesh and by the world and by the devil. Yeah, I'm, not, I'm not saying that if, when you reach these places that the battle ends. That's not what I'm saying. Yeah. I'm saying, I, I'm saying you, you are an overcomer when yeah. you're in these places, yeah. but you, you, we still are fighting. Amen. And so our, our assembly, see, is a time where, where we, we, uh, we gain the advantage in this fight. And the things, the things around us in these dwelling places become more attainable to us. See, so as I as I've been standing in grace, I've obtained certain things, and now I can give that I can yeah. give that to you. And so you have received then the benefits of my labors. Yeah. And then it, it happens the other way too. When when the brethren speak, we're offering gifts to one another. So not only are you being benefited by yourself being in the light, you're benefiting from all the brethren being in the light as well. Yeah. So let's open with a word of prayer, and then we'll look around in these dwelling places. Yeah. Father in heaven.